Alright, welcome back everybody, and uh, this is Whitetail Survival. Tonight I wanted to go over another survival kit I picked up. Uh, this is exactly how it came. This is uh, from eBay. It was called the, uh, it's just the Venture, I think it was. Get that out of there. Uh, Trail Venture Survival Kit. And uh, this was $26.99, and then it was like $4 for shipping. It's just your regular uh, survival tin style, Altoid tin, tin style survival kit in a can. So that's a pretty cool thing. Um, it's very small. You can fit this anywhere. And it came with this uh, little generic flashlight too, which is okay. We'll take this thing outside and we'll test it out. I think uh, it's only one mode, so that's all right though in a pinch. If that's all you had is pretty bright. So other than that, we might as well get into this thing. I think all in all, it came out to 3318. And uh, it does say in the directions to keep the tape on here if you want it to stay waterproof. So this tin is not waterproof, but it is right now with the electrical tape. So let's peel this off. And... Uh, Let's see how much is here. So we got, and this is good tape. It's nice sticky stuff. So there's 14 inches of electrical tape here. If I can get it off my finger. And uh, there's a generic light and 14 inches of tape. So uh, let's get into this thing and you can see there is the trail venture sticker on the outside it says established 2023 so these kits are still for sale on there i'll see if i can jump on there and find the link and uh, i'll add it to this description box so coming in this is a hinged one and i can see right off the bat there is the match striker so i don't want to forget about saying about a match striker again so we'll get that right out of the way right off the bat and here we have a sheet of paper and here is a magnifying glass fresnel lens and then here is it just says survival know-how which is pretty cool here's how to make a bow saw with the wire saw that's in here. I had a person on here the other day, a guy uh, explaining to me how to make this, but um, he just so happened to watch the one video that I didn't mention that you can make a bow saw out of the wire saw. And then uh, these are single page and there's some kind of waxy paper. I'm guessing it's waterproof. There's some cool information on here. Here is how to build a handle for your scalpel. A couple of important knots. There's a cinch knot. That is a good uh, fishing knot. I pretty much solely use that knot for fishing. It's a nice, simple, easy, fast knot to do. Um, here's how to do a L7 trap, it looks like. So they're using one that's spring assisted. There's your L and your 7. They're using it for fishing here. Um, and here's a small game snare trap, same way, with the L and the 7 stick, and, uh, a sapling as a motor, and here is how you tie your snare, so that's all on a safety pin, that's a pretty cool thing to see, it's just, uh, a little bit of survival know-how, so beyond that, we have a bright blue birthday candle and here is another piece of match striker here we have a little carabiner I'm guessing this is a lock back Oh no, it's just a slip joint. So here we have a little slip joint 
And uh, it's relatively sharp. I can feel it grabbing my finger. It'd be uh, sharp enough to do what you needed with it. Making a feather stick or gutting or skinning something. It's not a huge knife, but I can get three fingers on it with no problem. I'll take it out here and we'll show you real quick. So uh, here's this knife here. And as you can see, it's not the biggest knife, but for going into a tin, uh, you can get a good grip on it. And uh, there's a little bit of jimping for your thumb back here. So that's not a bad little knife, I guess, for fitting into a tin. And uh, there it is. And with that carabiner on there, you could clip this. The carabiner don't feel like it's going to break. It feels like there's a lot of tension on there too, so... It's not bad for a thin little knife. Uh, the next thing, we have a liquid-filled button compass. And here we have some... Oh, we'll just go right to here. Uh, this is a small, like, eighth-inch ferrocium rod. And this one is three inches, so it's not real short, but it's not a real long one. But you should be able to get quite a few strikes out of that one. And going on from there, these are, looks like a homemade version of a fire plug. It's like a cylinder of cotton with some wax on it. This should burn for a long time. And the next here for the striker, we have 10 matches and that is completely wrapped up with snare wire. There's a good bit on there. So it's enough to make a couple traps. Here we have a, a bunch of sewing thread, pre, let's see if it is, oh, two needles, I thought it was pre-threaded on here, but it's not, so there's a bunch of sewing thread wrapped around two needles here, and then tape on it to keep it from uh, opening up on its own there. And the next thing, we have a... There's one, two, three different size hooks in there. And then an entire bob and a fishing line. There's a good bit on here, so I will check this out whenever we do the actual field test on this. Oh, it looks like there's two sinkers in there too. Maybe three. So three hooks, three sinkers, and a bunch of fishing line. This is a uh ziploc bag all rolled up it's a pretty big one as you can see it's probably quart size freezer bag i would guess so that's a whole quart of water slash one liter I must fold it all up in there it feels like a pretty heavy duty bag it doesn't feel like it's gonna be a junk one to break and here we have a uh, wire saw and they have attached leather loops on here. Instead of them uh, key rings, you could probably a little bit easier to turn this one into a bow saw with these loops. So that's a pretty neat thing to see. It's a little bit different than the other ones. And here we have another one of these lights. I was actually impressed with this thing on the last kit that had one of these, <laughs> how bright it actually was outside. And uh, there is probably one of them yellow things in here. Maybe. Oh, the whole LED came out of this one. They might just be dead i'm not positive but i definitely do not have these batteries on hand let me uh thread this on here and we'll see oh no i just need it turned in the rest of the way so there's a secondary lighting source in here and we will take this one out also while we have it so that's good. That's the secondary flashlight. And 
That ones are very tiny, as you can see. Next, we have a very, very tiny chunk of pencil, but with a piece of pencil that small, we do have just one little piece of paper to write on, so that would be plenty to get a note off. And then here we have four uh, water purification tablets. And these say dissolve one tablet in two to three liters, but it's not going to hurt you to use it in that quart bag or uh, bust it in half, you know. You got a little knife here, cut the tablet in half. I get you a, uh, a liter and a half. Here we have some triple antibiotic ointment. And the next thing here is a uh, surgical blade. So basically just a scalpel blade. That gives you a uh, secondary cutting option. Here is the striker for the ferrocium rod. And uh, as somebody was telling me on one of the comments before, I actually started feeling them. And this edge is actually rounded over. So this one's nice and smooth. This edge is looped back around. It's bent back. So there, it's a little bit sharper here. So that when you strike it with the bottom, it has a, uh, a sharper edge to throw sparks. I never knew that before. That would be the reasoning why uh, this part isn't used for striking the ferrocium rod. <laughs> but uh, beyond that, here's an uh, alcohol prep pad, basically. There's one in there. And uh, the last couple things, we got a three of these. Uh, small bandages here, like these butterfly style bandages. And then looks like we got two, uh, like one by three inch band-aids. So that's just a slight little boo-boo kit with the antibiotic ointment and the band-aids and the prep pad. So that's everything included in this kit. That is the Trail Venture survival kit uh there's a lot of cool stuff in this one it's pretty unique uh, you can still pick this one up which is really cool and uh other than that if you see anything in here that you would add or take away um please put that in the comments go on down there and uh tell me what you would add or take away uh every single comment it helps me out a little bit every single time somebody comments so i really do appreciate everybody that keeps coming back everybody that keeps commenting I keep seeing a lot of repeats now. It's awesome. Uh, I appreciate that a lot. We're pushing up to the 1,000 subscribers here. We're at like almost 800, so that picked up pretty quick. Uh, hopefully it keeps going like that, and uh, let's go outside and test these two little lights out. All right, hello everybody, and uh, I am outside here in my flashlight testing area, and uh, I brought these little flashlights out from the kit to show you real quick so I'm gonna turn that real small one on first and uh last time I was pretty impressed with this thing so this thing's tiny it's just like a little light bulb and it's very very light plastic so there's not much to it but as you can see uh, this thing lights up pretty good for them three little tiny batteries now the lifespan of this thing I don't know we will test it out. If I decide only to take this light, but technically the kit came with the bigger one too. So I'll probably take both. As you can see, it doesn't throw real far, but um, there's actually plenty of light here to do what you would need to. So that's pretty cool. Other than that, that one is more of a uh, whiter light than a blue light like this other one. So here is this larger light. 
And this is the other one that came with the kit. And as you can see, this one does throw a little farther. I can see a deer, a deer eye out there. And um, this one only has one setting. So it's just on, off, click it on the back. It's a pretty small little light and it's no, uh, <clears throat> it's, you know, a super cheap light, but it's aluminum. And uh, it seems like it's it's very, very bright for uh, it just coming with this kit. There is plenty of brightness here for you to do what you need to do in the dark. So there's no other modes to go off of, but uh, just that small one and this one. And uh, for it just being coming with the kit to toss in your pocket alongside the kit um, it would definitely do its job for a flashlight so all right other than that uh, I appreciate you watching uh, please like comment share subscribe and uh, we will catch you on the next one